Hi there and welcome to this video where I discuss another algorithmic trading strategy. This strategy algo is called the MultiMA TSL4 and was created by a person called Stash86. The code makes use of uh, lots of elements that were previously discussed in other videos. And some code even does seem to look exactly the same. And this time the code has lots of information about the creator, but also a little bit about the elements that were used in the code itself. He has a github site on this location, and the trading code is located in this repo. There are lots of ways to show your support to the creator mentioned in the code. There is even a Patreon page for the creator, and you can support the author of this code directly. Now, the algo is a complex frag trade trading strategy involving multiple technical indicators and a conditional logic to determine buy and sell signals for trading cryptocurrencies. And a high level overview of uh, all the core components in this algorithm. Uh, for example, it uses the multiple moving averages, uh, like the whole MA, uh, the EMA and the volume weighted MA, the RSI, the RSX, the Elliott Wave Oscillator, Tmax, and also the Heiken Ashi. The strategy also includes parameters for tuning each moving average and oscillator, which can be optimized based on historical data to maximize performance. There are also protections like cooldown periods to avoid frequent trading based on recent action. Here it says that the strategy is designed for a 5 minute time frame, making it suitable for high frequency trading. It includes also a comprehensive set of conditions and indicators that allow it to adapt to different market conditions, potentially reducing risk and capturing short term profit opportunities. Now in the populate buy trend function of the provided track trade strategy, the buy signals are determined based on a series of complex conditions that utilize various technical indicators. This section of the code orchestrates when to uh, signal a buy based on the alignment of these conditions. Let's break it down into its key parts to understand the main components. Now there are conditional checks to see if uh, optimization flags for buying or selling EMA are enabled. If they are, then the strategy calculates the EMA values offset uh, by specific multipliers to create threshold values that the current price should meet uh, for a potential buy signal. And similar checks and calculations are made for the volume weighted moving average if their respective optimization flags are enabled. These calculations consider both price and volume given a weighted significance to periods with higher volume. Now for the volatility checks, the strategy calculates a standard deviation over a rolling window to measure volatility and then checks its volatility within the specified thresholds to avoid buying in overly volatile conditions. As for the HMA condition, the code checks if the current price is below the HMA threshold and other conditions like RSI and the custom PM value being below uh, the certain thresholds. Now there are also several volume weighted moving average related conditions and each check if the current price is below the different volume weighted moving average thresholds with additional conditions involving the PM and the RSI indicators. Now all these conditions are combined using a logical OR uh, and if any condition is true, a buy signal is considered. However, an additional set of checks is applied. For example, a live data check that ensures if the data is being used uh, and is uh, sufficient up to date and an age filter that makes use of the trading data and uh, looks if it uh, requires a certain minimum age likely to avoid trading on newly listed tokens with insufficient price history. Now in this condition it would not be applied because I always use the same dataset over all the different strategies. Now as for the populate sell trend function, in the provided strategy code the sell trend determines when to send sell signals based on a series of conditions that utilize technical indicators, particularly multiple EMAs adjusted by certain parameters. Now, the function checks if the optimization flags for the various EMAs are enabled, and if they are, it calculates the EMA values uh, multiplied by specific offset factors to create adjusted threshold values. 
and these thresholds determine the price conditions under which the assets should be considered for selling. Each sell condition combines the current price relative to its corresponding EMA threshold with other checks. Like for example, the price should be either above or below the EMA threshold depending on the condition. The asset's trading volume must be non-zero, ensuring that there is market activity. And also the RSI is used to check if the asset is potentially overbought. And a custom PM value related to an indicator that measures the market extremes or volatility helps to further refine the conditions to match specific market scenarios. All this code looks interesting and could certainly provide enough favorable conditions under which to buy and sell. So I have backtested this strategy code with my backtesting scripts and created the output necessary to decide if this algorithm has an edge in the market. Uh, on the backtest data of course, so everything is hypothetical. And to start with an overview of all the results on all the timeframes, well, these are not bad to begin with. The 30 minute time frame has the best results with a realistic 486% profit over 2024 trades. And the 63% win ratio also shows quite realistic uh, numbers in my opinion. And the 23 win streak against a maximum of 30 losses after another are also something I could live with. Furthermore, I am always happy to see that most of the pairs, here 75%, are responding well to the algorithm, which indicates that this algo can be generically used and does not uh, specifically fit one or a few specific pair. Now the equity curve looks very good to me too. A nice steady incline of equity and resilient against any bad market circumstances. And you can see that by looking at the drawdown curve. The highest drawdown peaks from the latest absolute profit to its lowest point only reaches around 8% and the average drawdown over all trades is only a meager 2%. Now looking at the win-loss ratio chart, you can see that most of the times the algo has winning weeks, although there are periods that uh, there is not much to celebrate to. However, the longest period with losing weeks is around 5 weeks max, and then the profits start to roll into your account again, which results in the equity curve I showed you a, a few slides previous. So, although this algo may not seem to deliver you the highest profits, I personally do like the way it builds up your trading account. Maybe with a little bit of tweaking here and there, it could perform even better, depending on your own pairs, setup and risk appetite of course. I did not optimize this strategy since it has a lot of cocks, wheels and switches that can be turned and flipped, and I do not want to show results that are better but unrealistic, just for the views. But I do believe that a well thought out optimization can improve things, as I just said. Now the overall performance indicators also support my suspicions, since out of the box they show the points where the algo scores strong, like its pairs ratio, win percentage, profit factor and drawdown. But there are also some indicators that show the areas that could be improved on, like the profit percentage, THR and CALMAR ratio. So all in all, a pretty reasonable scoring trading algorithm, right out of the box that uh, certainly has a well deserved place within the current top 20 best performing trading strategies. But remember to always do your own research and forward test this first before any trading strategy presented or developed. So please do not put your hard earned money on the line before rigorously testing this algo. So at the end of this video, I want to repeat that the original author deserves all the credits for this result. I am just the guy who tests this on his own setup and show you these results. I have nothing to gain pretending these algos are my code, but for some commenters I am still not clear enough about this. Anyway, for those people who do appreciate the work I put into testing all these algos and creating these videos to inform you about their performance. Please subscribe and give a like and a friendly comment if you have one. Also, all the backtest output with plots, charts, code and more from this test is available on my Patreon site. And to all the patrons out there, I want to thank you for supporting me. So this is it for now and I will see you in the next video, because I have still many algos to test. Goodbye!